It was just after 12 when witnesses report seeing a couple inside a black Audi screaming at each other while approaching the parking attendant's kiosk. He's trying to kill her. He's trying to kill her. And he grabs a cone, and this is the gentleman that was out there. He was trying to do what he could. And I knew there was real big issues. So I run in, I run back in the corner, I start screaming at everybody, sheriffs, everybody, they need to come out. And he's literally chasing her with the knife. And I go back in, I yell some more, and finally the sheriffs come out, and they come out with guns drawn, they tell him to stop, and he's about to grab her, and he's got his knife up, and that's when they start actually shooting him. I'm Tom Fair, let's go for a walk. I've always wanted to be a lawyer and I didn't even know what a lawyer did. I just had this idea in my mind that lawyers argued. It wasn't until later on that I realized you actually stood up for something and that's what's important to me. I believe that if you, if you have something that you believe in strongly that, that people shouldn't be taken advantage of, that people shouldn't be bullied, that's wrong. This profession really gives me the opportunity to stand up for people. I think I am sensitive and I think that cuts in all sorts of ways. Sensitive to what other people are saying and doing and feeling. I think it's an important quality to have. If you're going to speak on behalf of somebody, if you're going to tell someone's story, I think you have to be sensitive to what they're going through. I think you have to be able to put yourself actually immerse yourself in their shoes and to really live and, and breathe their life. This idea of injustice, I think it has to come from within. It's not, it's not something that needs to be explained or, or, or rationalized. You either feel it or you don't. And when somebody's being taken advantage of, you know it. I don't handle losing well. It's painful, it makes you question who, it makes you question what you did. It makes you question <laughs> what you're doing, what you did wrong. When it comes to winning, yeah, I, I, I try to figure out what we did well um, and, and how to replicate that and to, to continue doing the things that are helpful. It's funny, you know, we're here in this restaurant and trying a case is a lot like cooking. And it's more of the, whether it's a rustic dish, you know, something you know, like a beautiful roux or a really nice lasagna, or whether it's, it's something that's, that's highly technical and, and precise, it's attention to detail and it's, the, it's, it's loving the process, enjoying, enjoying the process of, of, of getting to where you need to go. And trial is like that for me. I, I love, getting a new case. I love seeing a deposition and, and synthesizing it with, with the rest of the material. What I've come to learn is that being successful in trial is, it's about being willing to accept whatever's in front of you. We're just people that are trying to help somebody else. That's all we're doing. Getting this award is, it's amazing because it's, it's, a, it's a recognition of what I've done over the years working at the Simon Law Group and being recognized by your peers in the community is one of the highest honors I think you can have because the community here is telling you that what you're doing and the way that you're helping people, that that's the right thing to do. I think as all trial lawyers, we should, we should strive to help whoever we can, however we can, whether it's inside the courtroom or outside the courtroom.